Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to the McIntosh County Board of Education's regular business meeting for May the 8th, 2023. Good evening. My name is Kelly Howe and I serve as the Executive Director of the Cats Whittle Foundation. I welcome you to our annual Golden Rule Character Award celebration. The picture you saw on the easel in the lobby is of the late Miss Helen Katz. She had a dream of making a difference. She was a very strong-minded lady who lived her belief in the Golden Rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. For what you do to others will bring good or bad consequences in your own life. She truly felt that the world would be a better place if more people lived by the Golden Rule. The Katz Whittle Foundation was established to carry on the dream of Mrs. Katz. I would like to recognize the McIntosh County School Superintendent, Superintendent Dr. Jim Poulos, and the members of the McIntosh County Board of Education who are present, Ms. Missy Brigman, Ms. Mr. Fred McIver, Ms. Sandy McDonald, Mr. Galen Hewlett, and Mr. Fred Striegels. Thank you for allowing the Golden Rule Program in your schools and giving us the opportunity to celebrate them tonight. Also, a big thank you to the parents, grandparents, or guardians who have raised these fine students. Good character and golden rule behavior just doesn't happen. It's not inherited. It is learned by what they hear at home, what they see at home, and what you model for them. Be proud of what you have done for your children. And thanks for all of our Paragon and Staff Award winners for what you do to teach, encourage, and model those good character traits in these young people. I hope you enjoy this evening as we honor young people of the McIntosh County School System. Our MCs tonight are LaJada Richardson and Caitlin Lamb. As we follow the program, next we will have Shalicia Tate to give our invocation, followed by the pledge, and then we will sing the national anthem. Would you please stand? Good evening, everyone. Please bow your heads for me, please. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for this night that we are able to attend this ceremony to honor the students that live by the Golden Rule. And a special thank you to the Cats Whittle Foundation for making tonight possible. Please be with all of us tonight, tonight as we travel through life and to remind us to live by the Golden Rule. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh see does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave thank you Madison.
Good evening, everyone. Um, good evening. My name is Lajeda, and today I will be presenting the elementary school kids and the award winners. The Golden Rule Award not monthly winners from Tallgrit Elementary School are Olivia Fletcher, Oliver, Oliver Fletcher. <laughs> Rainisha Ferguson Christina Walker Carly Hilliard William Monroe and Carlton Gall. And now to present the Tall Gray Elementary School Student of the Year is Miss Sandra Rouse, the principal. Thank you. All right, good evening, everyone. Our 2023 McIntosh County Elementary School Student of the Year exemplifies the golden rule of doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. This student is described as a joy to have in class. She is always ready to help and is always thinking of others. Before she goes to class, she asks if she can help any of the preschool students get to class. One day, she heard one of her classmates say that she wanted a snack. A few days later, she brought chips in just for him. This student is always trying to be the best friend that she can be to everyone. This year's McIntosh County Elementary School Student of the Year from Todd Grant Elementary School is Carly Hilliard. The Golden Rule Award monthly winners from McIntosh County Middle School are Nathan Osteen Grovner, <coughs> Kaylee Morgan, Peter McIver, Tiana Campbell. Kendall Clark, Hermione Garcia, <laughs> and now to present the McIntosh County Middle School Student of the Year is Mr. Scott Brooker, Principal. And now for the 2023 McIntosh County Middle School Student of the Year. Our winner deserves special recognition because this student consistently follows life's golden rule. She has a soft and welcoming personality that makes her peers feel at peace in her presence. She has a gentle approach and soothing words of encouragement which evoke one to reflect. Although she has a very quiet demeanor, her teachers say that she has a heart the size of Texas and is one of the kindest students they have ever met. Our 2023 McIntosh County Middle School Student of the Year is Tiana Campbell.
The Golden Rule Award monthly winners for McIntosh County Academy are Jackson Coley, Madison Farley, William McCauley, Eric Moss, Tyler Anderson, Alexander, and Mark Quarterman. And now to present McIntosh County Academy Student of the Year is Mr. Tall Williams. Good evening, everyone. The 2023 McIntosh County Academy Student of the Year uh, winner is described as a student who exhibits kindness and selflessness at an extremely high level. This student genuinely strives to be the best student, friend, family member, and overall person possible. This student constantly and consistently makes the people around him better people. The 2023 McIntosh County Academy Student of the Year is Mark Quarterman. We will have the McIntosh County Student of the Year presented by Ms. Missy Brigman, Board Chair, McIntosh County Board of Education. Good evening. Our 2023 McIntosh County Student of the Year is a perfect example of the Golden Rule. The student is quick to greet others and one of the first to wish others to have a great rest of the day. She truly treats others with the utmost regard for their feelings and well-being. The student is always available to lend a hand whenever you need her. She never complains and will never stop what she's doing at the moment to help, and will stop, sorry, <laughs> to help others at the moment and help a teacher or another student. The 2023 McIntosh County Student of the Year is Tiana Campbell. Next, we will have the Senior Awards presented by Dr. Jim Poulos, Superintendent, McIntosh County Schools. Good evening. Our 2023 McIntosh Academy Senior of the Year is described by his peers as someone who is selfless and is always willing to help others. One peer stated that he never disrespects anyone and always speaks to others in a kind manner. Our winner is a good friend and a role model who likes challenges. He has worked very hard this year to develop his leadership skills and has worked with the Communities and Schools Coordinator to help plan events for both students and staff. Our winner stated that he does his best for other people and a top priority for him is showing everyone respect. The 2023 McIntosh Academy Senior 
of the year, a recipient of a check for $3,000 is Mark Quarterman. This year, the Katz Whittle Foundation chose to recognize an additional senior at McIntosh County Academy for a runner-up award. This student is described as an upstanding student and citizen. He possesses an excellent personal work ethic, builds strong relationships with his peers, and is always willing to help other students. The 2023 McIntosh Academy Senior of the Year runner-up and recipient of a check for $1,500 is Edric Moss. Next, we will have the Staff and Paragon Awards presented by Dr. Kelly Howe, Katz Whittle Foundation. The nominees for the 2023 McIntosh County Staff Award are Loretta Presley, Todd Grant Elementary School. Laquita Royal McIntosh County Middle School. And Bethany Bryant McIntosh County Academy. Colleagues say our 2023 McIntosh County Staff Award winner works tirelessly to make their school a better place. She goes out of her way to help both students and staff. She always has a kind word to offer and a listening ear to anyone in need. She goes above and beyond every day, taking on responsibilities and duties that are not her own, just to lighten someone else's load. Our winner has been the Staff Golden Rule Award winner for her school twice in the last three years. The 2023 McIntosh County Staff Award winner for Todd Grant Elementary School is Loretta Presley. The nominees for the 2023 McIntosh County Don and Marjorie Varnado Paragon Award are Sharon Long, Todd Grant Elementary School. Amanda DeVerger, McIntosh County Middle School. And Marcus Hawkins, McIntosh County Academy. Our 2023 McIntosh County Paragon Award winner is described as the epitome of the Paragon Award. This teacher greets others daily with a smile on her face and encouraging words. She goes above and beyond by taking her own time to distribute backpack buddies, staying late for meetings, and often making home-baked goodies for her colleagues to keep up teacher morale. She is truly dedicated to her students by pushing them academically as well as making them better people. 
She teaches students manners as well as life lessons that they will carry into adulthood. This teacher stated that the classroom is her mission field. The 2023 Paragon Award winner and teacher at Todd Grant Elementary School is Sharon Long. Congratulations to all of our monthly winners. Along with the other awards that you received during the school year, such as the T-shirt, bracelet, bumper sticker, and a $50 cash award, this evening each of you have received a frameable certificate in your envelope and a $50 cash award. So boys and girls, make sure you don't just throw that envelope down. <laughs> Each student of the year from each level, elementary, middle, and high school, received an additional $75 for the award. Right. The county student of the year received an additional $250. Right. The senior of the year, as you already heard, received an award of $3,000, and the runner-up received an award of $1,500. Each Paragon and staff nominee received a check for $100. The staff award winner for the county received a check for $1,000, and the Paragon winner received a check for $1,500. <laughs> also, if the coordinators would see me afterwards, I have a token of our appreciation for you. So congratulations to all of you. I would also like to thank Ms. Mitzi Pearson for her hard work and dedication in working with the Golden Rule Character Award Program in McIntosh County. After the singing of God Bless America and the McIntosh County Academy alma mater, I invite you to join us in the lobby for a reception honoring all of our winners. This is being presented this evening by Mitzi Pearson, Tina Griffin, and Rose Harrison. Also, let's give a big round of applause for the work for all of our students on the program. LaJada, Caitlin, and Shalicia. And also a thanks to Miss Oliver for being our singer tonight. Miss Oliver is now going to lead us in God Bless America, if you'll please stand. God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam god bless america my home sweet home god bless america land that i love stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam god bless america my home sweet home god bless america my home sweet home from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam god bless america my home sweet home god bless america my home sweet home Thank you.
where the river flows swiftly and the Spanish moss waves. It's a land of serenity, air deserving of our praise. Alma mater, we will never forget, we'll never be alone. No matter where life takes us, Darien is home. Thank you. Have a good night. one more minute. We're going to do our spell and be recognitions and only take a literally about one or two minutes. We'll recognize those great students for their efforts and then we'll have refreshments out in the lobby. So Sandra Rouse, would you mind coming up and let's recognize our elementary school students? Okay. Uh, good evening again, everyone. Todd Grant just held our annual spelling bee, and it was um, quite fascinating this year. And so um, it is my pleasure to recognize Aiden Terry. He was our second runner up. Our first runner-up is Ripken Phillips. Congratulations, Ripken. Mm -hmm. And our winner, where is she? Our winner, walk this way. Our, the winner of our spelling bee this year is Serenity Comer. <laughs> Do you remember the word that you spelled? What did you spell? I spelled fan. That, Can, was my that was your winning word. Can you spell it? F A M O U S. You are correct. <laughs> Serenity. This is not your first time winning the spelling bee, is it? No. She also won last year. So this is her second year in a row. <laughs> Congratulations. And I'm um, pleased to announce our winners from the McIntosh County Middle School Spelling Bee this year. Our second runner-up was Jaden Reed. First runner-up went to Earl Wynn. And our winner was James Townsend. You remember your winning word, right? What was it? Genus. As in the science word genus. How do you spell it? G-E-N-U-S. Good, Good job, James. Congratulations.
like to thank you all for coming tonight. Let's give one last round of applause to all your recipients. <laughs> Parents, thank you so much. Students, God bless all of you. We'll have a reception out in the lobby. We'll take a short break for our board meeting. Thank you all very much for coming. Okay. We we're back from our break from Cat's Will and Spell and Bee. We'll move on to item number five, citizens address the board. Nobody's left here. Okay, item number six is goal area two, organizational effectiveness. Madam Chair, we added this. We did not discuss this at the work session. This is up for discussion. And if I could ask Mr. Boone to talk real quick. We've already completed <coughs> the elementary school and the middle school. So this next initiative is to, to add these sensors to the high school and the fobs and everything else. So the company that we've used consistently has came in with a bid. Mr. Boone has gone through it with, with our folks to make sure we have all the doors covered. Um, this is coming out of CARES 2, ESSER 2, carry over money. And so it'll be taken care of out of that. And if we can get it approved, we can get it taken care of out of this fiscal year, which would be a good thing. Okay. Anything you'd like to add to that, Mr. Boone? No, like our school has said, this is covering all of our exterior doors, but the car's right on it like we've done at the other two schools, and then all the sensors that we've left open for more than 70 minutes, and send an email to the SRO and the principal saying, hey, this door is left open. Okay. Good. <clears throat> okay. Could I have a motion to approve the MCA access control not to exceed 40,000 to 3486? Motion. Okay, motion by Mr. McIver. Second. Second. Mr. Hewitt, any further discussion? All those in favor? Okay. Motion carries 5 0. Madam Chair, the next area of culture and climate, we have the overnight field trips. We talked about the baseball team going up and they won, and so we're really excited about them moving mm -hmm. on to the Elite Eight. And so their request is there for starting tomorrow. They'll be traveling. And then they play, hopefully, two games and come home victorious. Um, there's also the MCA track team moving on to state. And we have several, several winners that are moving on to state, which is fantastic. And then the last is a request from uh, Mr. Todd for MCA Skills USA for June. And so if the board would mind reviewing those. The first two were submitted last week. This is the one that the new one is C. You want to go ahead and approve those tonight? Have a motion? Motion. Okay. okay. Ms. McDonald, second. Second. Mr. McIver. All those in favor? Okay. Motion carries 5 0. Yes. You're welcome. Okay. Approval of our business meeting agenda. Can I have a motion? Motion. Mr. McIver, <clears throat> second. Second. Second by Mr. Stregels. All those in favor? Okay. Motion carries 5 0. All right. Number nine is approval to move our items to consent agenda, which would be um, our tentative budget. Does Ms. Tammy need to talk any about I, that we tonight? We need to discuss that. Okay. Sure. All right. So let's. Um, we can go through all of these. If okay. You yeah. We'll just go through them real quickly. Is that okay? That's fine. All right. Ms. Tammy. the scale from Glenn County and I talked to Dr. Spence about what they provide and so this will be comparable to Glenn County compared for us. That's a good thing. So they're going to get a pretty good boost. It's in there. 
It should be in there. Okay. Yes, towards the back. It is not what we discussed regarding the parent involvement coordinator, but it is comparable to Glenn County. Okay. And those pages all have the actual page numbers on them, so you can just slide them in. Thank you. Okay. And then also I see the substitute pay increase. Yes. And Madam Chair, just to kind of bring back focus on this, is that with the elimination of the forestry money, which still could come back. I'll be honest with you. I had a very good conversation with Buddy Deloach today. He's going to go back and talk to the governor again about it because, you know, this was a big deal. He worked really hard on getting it approved, and he knows the impact of us not getting it. So we'll see what comes of that. Regardless, we removed that from the revenue side. We did add coming out of fund balance to continue to pay for everything. It's my recommendation that we discontinue with what we discussed with these changes and then approve a tentative budget, go through and get all the hearings done, and then with the next superintendent you can line item and say we'll do this, not do that. Okay. The money is there to pay for that. And just to echo that, it sounds like semantics, but it's not. He did not veto the budget item, what they call deferred it. In his statement, when you see it, he directed the agency to not spend it. But, you know, he changed his mind, and I think that's what we're getting to. Exactly. So it is in the budget. It was not vetoed out of the budget. It's there. He just directed them not to expend it. Okay. So, Madam Chair, with that, without any other questions that the board might have, it would be my recommendation that we approve what we've established here as the tentative budget. We have our two public hearings and then approve the budget thereafter if there's anything that needs to be changed. Which is June the 5th and June the 12th. Right. At our regular meeting time. Meeting times. Right. And I'm sorry, Dr. Phyllis, what did you say about the family resource coordinator? Originally, when we talked about upping the para-pro, we were going to make it comparative with the family engagement para-pro. So what we did is found out from Glenn County what they're paying their para-pros, and we're matching that. So we didn't go all the way up to the same level as the parent involvement coordinator, but it's pretty good. It's a pretty good increase. And as I made the recommendation at our work session, that when we find the good candidate for the parent involvement coordinator, that you look at the salary and adjust thereafter. Okay. Any other questions for Ms. Tandy or anything about this budget? I don't have anything. Motion to approve the FY24 tentative budget. Okay. Motion by Mr. Stregels. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Hewlett. No further questions. All in favor? Okay. Motion carries 5-0. All right. Number 11. Superintendent recommends approval of our custodial contract with Southern Cleaning Services not to exceed $560,904. Could I have a motion? Motion. Motion by Mr. Stregels. Second. Second. Second by Mr. McIver. Any discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Motion carries 5-0. And they will take over June or July. Do we know when they're going to? It's going to be one July. One July. All right. Item number 12. Superintendent recommends approval of the April 2023 financial report. Could I have a motion? Motion. Motion by Mr. McIver. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Hewlett. All those in favor? Okay. Motion carries 5-0. All right. Number 13. Superintendent recommends approval of the work session minutes from April the 3rd, 2023. Motion. So moved. Ms. McDonald. Second. Second. Mr. McIver. All those in favor? Okay. Motion carries 5-0. And number 14. Superintendent recommends approval of our regular business meeting minutes from April the 6th, 2023. Motion. Motion. Mr. Hewlett. Second. Second. Mr. Stregels. All those in favor? Okay. 5-0. Executive session. Just personnel? I have just personnel. Thank you. Thank you.
I have a motion to go to executive session for personnel. Motion. Motion by Mr. Hewlett. Second. Second by Mr. McIver. All those in favor? Motion carries 5-0. We'll be right back out. Golly Moses. Okay, the McIntosh County Board of Education has adjourned to executive session to discuss personnel. Could I have a motion to return to open session? So moved. Ms. McDonald, second. Second. Mr. McIver. All those in favor? Motion carries 5-0. All right, superintendent recommends personnel report as submitted. Could I have a motion? Motion. Mr. McIver. Second. Second. Mr. Hewlett. All those in favor? Motion carries 5-0. All right, board comments. I'll start on that end this time. Um, just want to say congratulations again to all of our Spelling Bee winners and our Cats and Whittle Award winners, our Paragons, our teachers. Um, we've got a great group of folks here, and I'm, I'm proud of them. Y'all keep up the good work. Thank you. Likewise, congratulations to everyone, and keep it up. Um, congratulations to our Cats Whittle uh, Award winners, um, our Spelling Bee winners, and we roll them on into the playoffs. We Elite Eight in baseball. Um, so uh, we're going to go over to Bowden, play two games, come home. <laughs> and um, to our track uh, athletes, they're going on the road. So good luck to them as well. That's all I have, Madam Chair. I'll ec echo the uh, congratulations and the support. It's a, it's a great time to be a Buccaneer. Okay. And I as well will congratulate everyone, and I'd like to thank Miss Kelly, the Cat's Whittle, and that foundation. They gave out a lot of money tonight. Yes. Yes. And um, we definitely appreciate them doing that for our students and staff. Yes. Have anything? Have anything, Mr. Braun? No, ma'am. All right, we're adjourned. Mm -hmm.